and we are live. Hello everyone. Seems to be running fine. Welcome to the stream. If it's your first time, welcome. If it's not your first time, welcome back. It's going to be a nice drawing day today. Every day is a good day for drawing. And today we're going to do some figure studies, some barg drawings like this. And YouTube, you have to behave today and be nice because we are multi-streaming live on YouTube and Twitch. I'm going to start uh, trying this because it's a new thing. Apparently it's allowed now. Doesn't mean that I'm going to move to Twitch or anything. Don't worry. Just that I'm going to try because I like their new features and I like how they have a category for art, which is pretty cool. So you can still chat with me however you prefer. But if you want to find me on Twitch, it's still the same name, Florent Farge on Twitch. If you prefer the user experience, you can find me there too. So that's the, the new thing of today. And for regarding what we have here on YouTube, it's the same as usual. So the commands are still working. Steven is still here, ready to um, to start a hard, a hard day at work. Steven, are you there? Hello everyone in chat. Are we ready for an amazing stream? This is going to be awesome. Florent, can you feel the hype? I certainly can. All right, perfect. Steven is ready. Everything seems fine. Um, so it's going to be a draw along episode. So if you want to draw with me the same studies as like if you want to draw this one, for example, where do you go to find this picture? You go to the Discord, obviously. This is where you're going to find everything you need. So if you want, you can download the pictures here and we can start drawing together. So and after that, if you want to post it on the Discord, post what you um, what you did. Go to Classical Atelier because it's, this is kind of where this kind of art fits if you want to post your results. So yeah. All right, so it's going to be a fun, relaxing evening. And um, let me check that. Um, let me check the Twitch side of the thing. All right. Perfect. We are we are apparently streaming for one viewer and I, I think it's probably me. All right. Whoever is watching from Twitch. Hello. 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 All right. I'm going to test this live kind of dual live feature and if it's if it's not working properly, just whatever, you know. Oh yeah, I, I would like though to have someone to go to the Twitch chat and try to type a command just to know if the commands work on Twitch as well. So if you, if you have nothing better to do, just find me on Twitch and, and try to type a command. So hello to everyone. Hello Emo, hello Felicia, Gary, Estaker, Eva, and Rita and Attila. So hello, everyone. Um, actually, let's not start with this one. I wanted to... No, I'm going to start with this one, this drawing. Uh, where is it? All right, this one. OK. All right, seems to be running fine. Okay, perfect. So how is everybody doing? Tell me. Hey, hold on. Hi, Russell. Okay, so let me just try to focus on it. 
and we are good to go. All right. So yeah, I, as I said, all the references are going to be in the Discord. So if you feel like um, drawing along, like it can be afterwards, no problem at all. Like you don't have to do it live. Well, you can. And yeah. Hi, Alice. All right, so the idea is to right. Oh, I'm gonna remove out of focus. Otherwise, it's not gonna <laughs> not gonna react really well. Okay, so the idea is mostly to just uh, take the time and do some some relaxing drawings. It's the second best thing that we have after the after an actual live session with an actual model, actually. It's not going to cut it. It's too bright. The white paper is too bright. Maybe like that. Yeah. It's the second best thing after having an actual model. Hey, Matthew. So these are the bark plates. Really cool. Um, really cool practice material. Don't know. I mean, what are you doing if you don't know about these? I'm talking about this so much, it's like I'm repeating myself. And you, we are using charcoal, uh, mostly nitrum charcoals, for this exercise. Did it work, huh? Well, good luck to finish your shift. So starting with the torso again, kind of one of the main points of what I covered in our episode on uh, uh, body gesture and weight distribution. And starting with very broad lines, not going for details early on. Actually, while people are slowly arriving, I'm gonna leave you for a moment. I'm going to be back in like two minutes. Don't move until talking to the model. Don't move. All right, I'll be back.
All right. Model did move. Oh, the win. All right, so how come I don't have chat? Chat is not updating on my site. Okay. All right, we already have like weird uh, bots from Twitch. So, hey, th thank you, Luis. All right, Estaker. <laughs> the teacher left the classroom time for mischief. No, but the model was, was really, really quiet and still really hold the pose super well. Actually, I've got tons of stories about live classes where, you know, students kept complaining about the, the model leaving the room all the time. And uh, yeah, you know, no, no, <laughs> what am I saying? No, the model wasn't leaving the room. It the the students were actually complaining. What am I saying? Not leaving the room. Um, <laughs> I'm not thinking clear. Uh, the model was like kind of moving, you know, like ah, oh, an actual human being. How dare they like move a muscle and not be and not be a, a statue? No, you don't have to pay for Twitch. Like Twitch is it's free. It's like this is why I'm just streaming there as well. It's like they are a website kind of like YouTube, but they specialize in only live streaming. And like recently they came up with like some features that are actually great for streamers. Like if you want to stream together with somebody else. Um, so I'm kind of interested and like before it wasn't allowed to like what's called multi-stream and the the thing is you you weren't allowed to stream stream on twitch and on youtube at the same time but apparently it's not anymore so i'm using this as an opportunity to try uh which doesn't mean that i'm gonna stop um and i'm gonna stop streaming on youtube youtube is still my main platform it's just uh, just saying why not try see how it goes see uh, a kind of new horizon but yeah so back to the 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 story of um so there was the you know some models are like almost like statues it's amazing how they can handle this this way of staying still for such extended periods of time and they it's like it's almost crazy but some models like they are you know a little bit less stable they they don't always come back to exactly the same position after the breaks and some students were uh during these these live classes that i've got some students were kind of annoyed by this but i mean come on they are human beings like and it's not like yeah sure some models are better than others in terms of staying still but it's also your job as the artist to to adjust your your work your workflow to the natural movement of the body and actually study how it naturally goes into its mo most comfortable position so like a lot of students were complaining and then the the instructor um luca in dracolo uh, he came up to the he came back to the the the, the figure room and he kind of got angry with the students for complaining about something that's kind of first of all normal and that was also the jo their job as as artists to it was their job to just understand the position and sort of like if the model let's say like doesn't hold exactly the same pose well it doesn't matter you can still keep it you just have to really study very carefully how it was at a certain moment and then transfer that and 
and that's that's it i mean it's not your job to be complaining as the artist your job to do the best out of what you can so how come my chat is not updating okay still streaming kind of lost YouTube for a moment so I'm kind of worried okay something weird happened and I I don't we didn't lost any data hmm all right I don't know what happened, whatever happened. Sorry, just trying to fix. Couldn't see if YouTube was updating. Didn't seem that it was receiving. I don't know. I couldn't monitor my YouTube stream anymore for, for some obscure reason. So I have no idea if you got this entire story. Maybe I was offline actually, just talking to myself. A life model bend over what in was it kind of part of the pose psh, psh. you're not Jeff you're not allowed to be here it's a net sorry Okay, so you heard the story. All right. Thanks. Oh, they dropped something on the floor. Yeah. All right. Like usually the models we had in our in our figure study class, they had like kind of robes or towels and every time like during breaks, they would just just cover themselves. I know, like your your st story seems like kind of crazy. But I believe it, so. <laughs> Obviously, I got that AC. 
It is pretty cool, Ellen, about your live class. Feels kind of strange at first, but then it's so good. What I love about the bark plates is how they kind of simplify, but they keep all this great, you know, um, these kind of curves, very simplified and very chopped off, but they still evocate the human body so well. And you can sort of kind of feel the muscles like kind of this, like these tiny angles, they are kind of sculpted, but you know, just chiseled, very, um, you know, very, how, how to say, without details, but they still feel very flesh-like in a way. So it's a simplification of the human body, but that does really make a good job at giving a, a good sense of movement and and the, the presence of the muscles kind of reveals just just what's needed Morning. Uh, Raven Steer, are you. Do you want to be called Raven Steer or are you Luca from Discord? I'm confused. Or is it another Raven? Some. Like maybe two people have the same kind of Raven. Like kind of a username with Raven. Maybe I'm Oh yeah, okay. Hi. Good to see you. So like you have you haven't been very talkative except for this story about the the figure class how what, what's going on chat can you, what can you tell me about your i don't know your day your your plans for the weekend what's going on that like stories about models bending over Come on. Uh, do you have favorite artists when it comes to their drawings? Oh yeah, I really love Pierre Paul Prudhon. Hold on, um, let me try to grab the book. You, you probably know, but I'm gonna show you. And after that, I'm gonna change the lens to have a little bit more focus on the drawing because I see it's kind of small right now. So hold on.
can you see the figure and screaming at the moment? <laughs> Come on, Felicia, why why are you screaming? Is it already Halloween? So Pierre Paul Prudon, an artist that I really love, who is actually mostly famous for his drawings. He did some paintings, but they he tried some weird medium in them and they aged very badly. He worked around like in the 19th century, beginning of the 19th century and end of the 18th, beginning 19th, in, if I'm, my memory is correct. And he painted like kind of um, like around the time of Napoleon, he made a famous painting of Napoleon's wife. But he's most not mostly known for his paintings. He's um, he's mostly known nowadays for his um, what they call academies, and these are paintings of like nudes, and they are really great. Like they they are all done on a, a blue paper. It doesn't look blue anymore that much. It looks more uh, kind of gray, but it used to be blue because it's it's been discarded with time, you know, paper, how it ages. And he has this technique with... It's not charcoal, it's um, it's kind of um, a, a chalk, a black chalk. So with some kind of binder, charcoal is natural burnt wood, whereas chalk is like the pigment and the binder. And he has like these charcoal, black charcoal and white chalk and together and he works with some some stomp some blending and then s with um with little hatchings but vertical hatchings super like an amazing artist really just uh, like with like full of energy and this sense of volume like uh, kind of crazy to uh, have this one so Pierre Paul Prudon, favorite, one of my favorite artists, just for their drawing skills, definitely. Salut Mortal Panda, de rien, je suis content que ça te donne envie. Le but c'est de se faire plaisir. Hein. Only here for another hour hype to drive into town, Ben Michelin Fire Station. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to make this hour worth your time then. All right. Sorry, I'm changing the lens, so I need to reset the aperture. So, is this. Um, is this. Uh, is this too bright or is this fine? Seems like it's fine. I'll paint an eyeball on an empty spray fixative paint can with oil paint. Sounds like a plan. Hi, Beth. Oh my god, I'm still streaming to one person on Twitch. This is so sad. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep going. My sound back. All right. Oh, why do I have some weird noises? Okay. Well, I do have some noise. Some clicking noise of my, I think it's my cable. Should just 
the mic maybe. All right, maybe like that. So one of the key of these, this type of drawing, right now I'm, I'm really taking my time. Like you can imagine that you might have to do that in much quicker sessions. Right now it's not really the, the point. Sometimes I do 10 minute challenges, but now it's not the point. It's more being here for the study, but the kind of the the idea of these drawings is to do stuff with very chopped off lines at first so kind of go very with very basic lines like thick lines this way you can see a bit clearer what you want to incorporate in your like you can just re reshape it's like sculpting with and chopping off big blocks at first and sculpting and it's kind of the same idea and you chop off a big block and then you refine and chisel it with something something finer love da vinci yeah da vinci is definitely um a wonderful artist for his drawings alone like his drawings alone would still make him one of the the greatest definitely if he did only drawings and actually it kind of is the case because he didn't produce that many paintings actually i don't know somebody has to look it up but he only did like 13 drawings if my memory is correct so not a lot not a lot. But still, for just the, the drawings that he done that he did would would be enough to to count him as one of the greatest. Right. So one of the one of the the most difficult part is understanding the the height and guessing right actually. Just mostly a guessing game. You have to guess, make your most educated guess and then check if it's correct. It's not the only figure we're gonna do. It's like I'm taking my time. Usually I do the, you know, the 10 minute quick drawing sessions. And here I want to just take more time because when I do the quick drawing sessions, I don't have time to talk with chat. So uh, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, here I can at least um, take more time. Da Vinci produced 20 paintings. All 
All right. Yeah, but how many survived? Is that's the question, isn't it? Like, and how many did he actually finish? Because Isabella Destis is still waiting for her painting. So I see the actual model as a bit more muscular, but it's not really around the, the, the thigh, it's more maybe the shoulders and let me see. It's not much, not much. Yeah, and how many were fully by his hand alone, exactly. Yeah, especially the one that was sold for like, how much was it? Like 400 millions? Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus Christ was actually the, the subject himself in person, so. Like the big controversy. I made a video about the controversy about whether or not it's a fully autographed or it's studio work. <laughs> Da Vinci had all the signs of ADHD. Like, explain. I, I don't know about the signs of ADHD, so if you want to explain. things and doesn't finish them well the reference I'm working from is a bark plate and this picture is in the discord so you can find it if you join the discord and you go to live stream and you'll find the reference it's it it's, comes from a bark plate the bark plates were a, like uh, classical drawing exercises that were made for students in the 19th century. Uh, being brilliant but easily distracted. Command, zooming in for 10 seconds. <laughs> Thanks for zooming, zooming out, Luca. Hey, whoever has a, a Twitch account, can somebody with a Twitch account go and and become a gu guinea pig for me? Be a guinea pig for me and just try if one of the commands that I have on YouTube, if they also work there on on Twitch, because I I configured them to work, but you need to go to Twitch and type from there. Just 
only if you have a Twitch account, don't bother if you don't. Don't bother creating an account just for that. It's just curiosity. I just want to know if it, if the zoom, for example, does the exclamation point zoom would work on, um, on Twitch or not. Uh, Command, zooming in for 10 seconds. Hey, it works. Thanks, the mortal panda. Zooming so, out. Cool, cool. So I, I know that now uh, the commands, they, bo they work on both places because it's the first time streaming from Twitch. So I don't know this beast. It feels, it feels very lonely there at the moment. So I'm not going to lie. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, thanks the mortal panda. Now I know. All right. It's um, going to be sharpening time. Once you know the about ADHD, you can see the signs. Well, the fact that he was easily distracted, is, is this really a sign? Because isn't everyone kind of easily distracted now? What, what, what's going on? I mean... Like he was easily distracted working on many projects, but aren't we all in a way? What differentiates ADHD from like being normally distracted by, you know, by the world? Curious. So what's going on, Gary? Not not much. We're just doing some nice drawing studies today. So have you finished work? Have you finished contributing to the wealth of your nation? How come now my chat isn't refreshing? I'm sorry, I missed so many messages. No, it's weird. Okay. By a squirrel? What? With ADHD, it affects your ability to function. Okay, but in a way, Da Vinci was still a very functional, like, person because he was, like, at a time with no internet, he was still world famous. I mean, at least Europe famous. So. He was functional in a way. Making the rich richer, absolutely. Hi Prudence. I record draw.
It's not a pen, it's a... Hold on. No, it's... It's a charcoal holder. It's actually the Nitrum charcoal holder. I, I think they call this baton or whatever. Or... This one. And actually it's kind of lame compared to what you can find. Something like that. This would be a normal pencil holder. And what you can do with that is most of the time you have to kind of squiggle it in. But once it's in, oops, so obviously don't do that, but yeah, you know, you have to kind of squiggle it in. Just hold on. Bear with me. You spread it out. And once it's in, it holds pretty well. Like for charcoal, actually I find this more sturdy than what they sell themselves. Because sometimes the charcoal is not super straight. When it's not super straight, it doesn't always like they all they don't all have the same size. It doesn't always work. Nitrum they do some they, they make some great great charcoal like in all we recommend. But like sometimes they don't have the best idea like this stuff. Oh this is the Nitram baton. I'm I'm gonna make a it's sort of a counter ad because this one is really something you shouldn't get. It's just a plastic crap. Like it broke actually. I mean, I'm all for their products. I even have the... Even have the hat. I even have the, the hat. I'm all for Nitrim. All day, every day. But this... This Nitram thing, no, I'm not on board with that. So this one, not good. They have, so they, they have two, this one, plus this one you have to use the, the dedicated um, charcoals, like not all the charcoals will fit have to get only these tiny ones and these ones they are tiny not as good as the others don't really know why they did this this charcoal holder is much better and you have like a tiny like this is removable so that you can know which one you put but it's it's good like, you know this one is not from their brand it's something that i found in an art store always works also works so right got the hat Um, how do you, uh, how can you convince your parents that you can go to art school? Got a conflict because of this topic. Well, I'm sorry to say if they have to pay, like there's no, no way to convince them. I, if, if they, if you pay for yourself, like, sure, like keep in mind that you don't need to go to art school. So I can't defend going against your parents for art school because maybe you're going to be wasting your time in art school it depends on which one it is and what you want to do with it like each person is different but i've heard so many stories of people going to art school and and not making it after that so just because you want to be an artist doesn't mean you need to go to art school. I didn't go. 
I'm an artist. I'm kind of happy that I didn't go actually. So there was this moment in my life as a student where I had to choose between going to philosophy university and France university is free, right? Or to this private art school that would then prepare me to make some, uh, some of these, like you have some sort of a, a an entry exam to go through to get to art school in France, like to the most prestigious art school, but they, the most prestigious ones in France, they teach contemporary. So I had the choice between going to art school to be taught how to, you know, do contemporary BS or just study philosophy like for free, basically, because university is free. Or philosophy and for art school it would have cost my parents a lot and I decided you know what I don't want to learn about their BS no, I, I don't care about this like this type of art education that I was seeing just because I went there to just see what's, what was going on I was visiting the art the art school and I was thinking do I really want to do that? Like the kind of contemporary, it was all about like making performance, making installation. I, I just wanted to, to learn like this kind of stuff, how to draw properly, how to, how to paint properly. But this is, this was kind of considered, um, considered a sin there. Like, Painting was old fashioned, kind of considered a sort of a like like a like a degenerate art. Like you weren't supposed to teach painting, and if you if you had painting classes, it was not figurative painting. So, in a way, I was really kind of not super inspired by the idea of getting to this art school. So I decided to just go for something completely different and study philosophy. And then uh, like 10 years later, I decided to switch again, but on my own. And this time I had my own money because I got to work in the meantime. And this is how I became an artist. So I didn't go to art school and I learned kind of on my own, doing my own my own stuff. But yeah, I think discussing this and maybe, um, so this was my experience, of course, but like maybe the best is to discuss it with your parents and go to the art school and like your parents clearly have questions about like the kind of worry. So maybe if you can visit, if they have an open day, if you can visit the art school, learn about what you're going to learn, what you can do, talk to former students and learn if they are actually, if they are actually making what you want to do, ultimately. In my opinion, contemporary art school is a waste of money. Yeah. And that's probably why your parents are worried. And I would be worried too if my my son wanted to go to an art university. Like, you know, they're very liberal and they don't necessarily like they, they, they start with the idea that whoever wants, whoever can do whatever they feel like, but that's like so you end up with no structure in the end. You haven't learned how to become an artist. Like some of this is, is very like poor education. For um, an exuberant price. So make sure that you, you know what you're getting into. That's one thing.
And there's good and bad though. So some of them are good actually. So make sure you don't waste your time and in, in your money. It's like these are the best, the best years of your life. You don't want to waste them. Yeah, thank you, Diego. Yeah, online you can find a lot of stuff. Books, books, lots of books. Yep. Screenshot taken in the Discord. Art schools are good for networking. Yeah, kind of. But is this the only, yeah, as you say, there are other ways to go. The difference is it is much more challenging to learn on your own. The thing is that ultimately the art school is not going to make you an artist and they don't have like the... Like maybe some of these art schools, they have the... the um, sort of the... the kind of education that's going to focus on, okay, how can you make it as an artist? How can you become an artist? Like career-wise, how... Are you supposed to create a, I don't know, this or that, a portfolio, and they, some of them will help you in this regards. Some of them are just going to say, all right, you have your degree now, get out of here. Or like become a teacher here. And sometimes they only have, this is the only thing they have to offer. Like you go straight from art school to becoming an art tutor in the same school so you never really left school and you're going to become an eternal student so an eternal like kind of a, a failure as an artist i mean not as a student but as an artist twenty plus years playing guitar self taught still learning yeah, like imagine that. So, is there an art school that, a guitar school that is going to teach you how to play and become a, a professional musician? You have to learn from somewhere, but doesn't have to be from a school, from an institution. As long as you're learning, right? I hear even at Musicians Institute is really for elitists. Maybe for a classical, you know, because they have these codes of classical music. But let's say you want to become, you want to play in a rock band or do something other than classical. I doubt that you actually need to go to a school. Not, not in like a university kind of school art institution, I mean. You need to learn though, that, that's one thing. There are plenty of ways to learn. That's the good thing. Oh, 
Oh yeah, jazz. Jazz is kind of the new classic, right? I don't remember it can be. Can you explain? I'm working on with charcoal on this paper, but it's really not the paper for that. And it's going to start to look messed up. Fusion? What's fusion? I have been in Germany, I, but n never in Koblenz, fortunately. Wish I was. Been in Freiburg, in Heidelberg. Well, what is fusion? Jazz fusion? So a kind of hybrid of jazz and other styles? And for that, you need to go to music school. Too many zoos. I agree that there are too many zoos. Maybe you should keep the animals out of the, like out in the wild. Or is it just a type of? Oh, a hip hop NYC jazz band. Hi Cloudface.
You go to the school to earn a lifetime of debt. <laughs> kind of. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like universities. One of my colleagues was wearing sandals at work during casual Friday last week. Frankly, I still don't know how I feel about that. I still don't know how I feel either. Still the same story, Stephen. And hi, Luis. If you get Steven to talk, you know, you're not going to stop him. Steven always has the same stories. I should renew his um, stories. I, we shouldn't have a talk about how he should be telling us new things. Like always talking about work, about birthday cakes. At least he's rep responding, right? Alright, so the gesture is not perfect, but I think I should start going for a new a new model. So which one? Yeah, Steven is like hang like this uncle exactly always telling the same stories. Yeah, but you know. Uh, okay, so should we go for a quick portrait study, which can be kind of slow, or should we go for another post? Screenshot taken in the Discord. Decide. So either this nice lady here, it's kind of portrait study, but it's going to be tricky and slow, and I'm not going to finish, or, well, I'm probably not going to finish. Or, hey, thanks for taking a screenshot, but I think my face was in, in front, sorry. I'm going to take a, hold on. 
Okay, take another take another screenshot. Luca. Taking the pose. Because I, I think my face was in the way. Did it work? I need to check that. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> my face is in the way on the second one. If you don't know when you type exclamation point screenshot the it sends a screenshot to discord so look at this ugly face wow this nose should i get a nose job have it like look better for you guys because really it feels like she'll always feel so goofy with these All right, thanks for the screenshot. It looks cool actually now to have it directly in the Discord. This way I, I do less work. So guys, you didn't tell me um, portrait or another figure? Portrait study or another figure? You didn't tell me. The other figure would basically be the same. What is this? Space balls. I don't get the ref. Hi, Patty. Oh, thank you, Patty. It's so nice. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put that because Patty is just so nice. You will not find a better teacher than Florent. Go back and watch his videos. He explains everything so well. His book suggestions are great. Aids as well, then just jump in and do it do it portrait portrait figure all right i'm very handsome thank you i'm, I'm very conscious about the, my nose though because it's always in the way you know kim kardashian had like several nose jobs and he worked for her so we've got, uh, let me check. So we've got two portraits and one for a figure. All right, so this... I'm not gonna do, um, how would I say, the, a poll because I don't care. But if I do portrait though, I'm gonna get a um, different type of paper. So hold on. Luca, there is actually indeed a, a cooldown to the screenshots. Please no, don't take inspiration from the Kardashians. Well, they they are billionaires, aren't they? I mean, not just about the role model. Sometimes it's just about the money, isn't it? So let's have this nice lady. Okay, and there. <laughs> I'm sure you can find another rope on that one. Let me, by the way, let. There you are.
Okay, okay. You talked me out of getting a nose job. So. Okay. Actually, I just need to adjust the size of this model. Here, probably. Let's see how it works. Just readjusting my model of my screen. Yeah, I know because it's like um, in the South Park episode where they say she's a hobbit. I I I know my I have my South Park references. Sometimes I know stuff about the U.S. just out of South Park. Kind of uh, kind of crazy actually. Shouldn't be a thing, but yeah. Sometimes it's my is how I I stay updated in what you guys are are doing. Doron, was it you who said we should paint things that mean something? Sure, I did say that, but I say a lot of. I say a lot of um, a lot of stupid stuff though. So but yeah, I, I might have said that. Why? In which part of France? In northern France. Why are you still screaming? What's going on? See you, sucker. Yeah, see you later, maybe. Maybe in the Discord, I think probably I'll hang around after the dive. I'm not sight sizing, but I'm trying to put it almost as close to, see, as close to my paper as I can. So the model is here and I want to have like, I want to have like, you know, the least travel distance to do with my eyes every time I, I go back to the model. But I'm not 100% sight sizing it, but I'm trying to, I'm kind of following the spirit of sight sizing without like getting strictly into the method. But I'm, yeah. I'm using a, a similar approach, let's say. Kind of the free version, like the, the, like the more relaxed version of sight sizing. Actually, for the portrait, I'm gonna need to sharpen way more often because the big, big charcoal is going to be kind of pain with this paper. Thank you, Ein I Stau.
Dreaming is good for the soul. What's going on, Felicia? Are you screaming because you find the what you're doing too difficult? Is that it? tips for drawing next yeah make sure to if for if you want to m not make them look one dimensional is exactly what what the artist did is make sure that you get shadows on like decent shadows for the part that's underneath the underneath the chin here and also like the back so that it looks more round so just make sure about the shadows try to not like you can cut it sharp as sort of a structure line but make sure that this line gets um, enveloped in like lights and shadows and form this way it will look more natural Hi Kate, glad that you love this. That's a pretty cool idea, small plastic and models.
Well, that's the spirit, Felicia. It's kind of... Yeah, being an artist is struggling with your work. Not giving up. You're right. My favorite medium is oil paint. Charcoal and... And yeah, charcoal and oil paint. Graphite. Yeah, sculpting should be sculpting should be kind of a mandatory stage for every I'm gonna say 2D artist, but you get the point. Any artist trying to represent things in two dimensions on a flat surface should should go through some type of sculpting class at some point. As a complimentary, complimentary, I don't know how you call this curriculum. Because it really teaches you um, a different way to visualize. And there's a lot to learn from sculpting. Well, some parts are going pretty well, so it's a good sign. Means that um, means that you're doing some things right, and you just have to apply the same, like the same technique or the same mindset to the other parts. What's Mickey D's? That McDonald's? Do you really call that Mickey D's? It's important. Well, sculpting is kind of important in a way that it forces you to visualize things in three dimensions. And I don't know, it's just a, it's just complementary to, vi because when you visualize the shadows and stuff, what you're actually visualizing, like the, the shadows that l this lady has on her face is actually just the light falling down from her head. And there is actually a, a, a part here where it recedes so there is less light that hits this part of the of the of the face you can understand that in 2d so like just making a shadow shape but you also have to understand this in 3d and to it's it's easier to understand this as a three-dimensional um, object if you have done some sculpting if you have tried it you don't have to be great at it but just understand what the challenges of sculpting are this way you you can have a better representation on, on a flat surface Also, the, the tactile part of the shapes. Uh huh, that's true. That's true.
the forms are felt. Oh no, I dropped my charcoal. <sighs> now it broke. Rip. Rip. I want to see F's in the chat for this good charcoal. Ah. Rip. All right. Back to the sending board chat. Hey, Jasmine. Good ASMR. You know, some people watch this for hours. Hey, good bite. C'est ton arrivée qui m'a fait faire ça. Ok. Alright. Back to... Back to the point. Actually, I didn't see that. It's, it's not perfectly placed. Too much of a perfectionist to let that go. Ok. All right, all right. Okay, I think the challenge with this one going to be to not make her look like an old lady. It's very challenging. Because if you mess up the... If you mess up the shapes, it's going to make her look way more aged than the model. So it's a technical drawing. Thank you GayRocker81 for the super chat with the following message, percent raw input percent. Oh, thank you GayRocker. Thank you. Thank you for the 20, Gary. Don't say I never gave you anything this year. I will never say that. <laughs> she's at least 50. I don't know. I don't know if she's... Um, I would say less. But yeah, she can look very old if you mess up with the, you know, the, the proportions or the shapes. So it's a tricky subject. It's always tricky though, like 
kind of this mix just at the edge of perfection versus imperfection. Yeah, and exactly, and this softness is exactly the trickiest part to get. At least 50? Yeah, probably, but you don't want to make her look like 70, and it's very easy. And it's actually a, a problem in general, like, especially with drawing, like, at least with paint, you have, like, you know, this softness, but drawing can be harsh. And let's say I want to make some, you know, some just just some value lines and it's going to look like wrinkles immediately and bam it it, it feels like uh it immediately immediately makes her feel way older oh yeah i'm gonna buy some more charcoal with that actually i still have a stack though but thank you man thanks for the generosity thank you for spending some of your hard-earned money on this random guy just doing putting a camera in the back of his studio and just and just showing it to the world i guess a very weird concept i mean imagine these guys from like you know the renaissance they would just freak out at the idea that okay like, I'm, I'm making this drawing. All right, fine. But let's imagine that you tell one of these guys like Raphael, Michelangelo. Okay, so you're making this drawing, but in fact, you have this camera obscura device in the back of your studio and it's connected to, can you describe like the internet? How would you describe the internet to an artist from the Renaissance, you have to... Okay, so you have this network of electrical wires. Well, if you describe electrical, they're not going to understand. You have to make them get the point of what we are doing here. For them, it might seem just crazy. And yet we're still doing the same stuff, like I'm doing the same kind of stuff, nothing has changed. Still the same old techniques, except that I'm sharing it through a... Yeah, how do you explain the internet to someone at the Renaissance? They would love it, but they... how do you just describe, like, what... What is this supposed to be? They didn't even know the like electricity. So how do you start? Like imagine like out of nowhere, like Da Vinci just teleports in my studio. How do you explain what's going on? You can't call it a magical box. It's not gonna cut it. Black magic. The devil is the work of the devil. Kind of, you know. <laughs> it's strangely accurate, though. Because, yeah, it's kind of devilish in a way. Like, what's happening with the internet. Like, you have both good and evil. Well, that's the stuff about the internet. It's pretty much like humanity in general <laughs> you have the good and the bad it's like painting in a forum so you go to the agora and everybody's looking at you while you are painting and drawing how about that except they are not there they are on the other side of the world and actually when you start for you it's the evening but for some 
It's actually the morning. Best to explain it in the order it happened. First, imagine there's a thin piece of long metal, and if you put special iron rock on one end, the other end move. Wow, you have a lot of explaining to do, but it's crazy how how advanced our world has become, and how like we take things for granted, which just took centuries of just evolution. Pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, just... Yeah, meanwhile, someone from Command. the other side of the Zooming in for 10 seconds. of your camera. Exclamation point zoom. <laughs> it only works if you type it. Zooming like, out. If it's the first thing you type, like a little quick tip for you. The human mind is awesome when left free. Capable of the, the best and the worst. But the good thing is, around here, nothing but the best. Having a nice, chill, drawing evening. Having a good time. Hey Barbara, how are you doing? Didn't see you. Oh yeah, I missed you earlier. How are you doing? That's kind of what I started in, in this session. I started with figure drawing. But people voted for a, a portrait, so I don't know. But yeah, I can. I can actually stop this one due to popular demand. I mean, you're the only one, but but the only one asking, so I can do that. Usually, it at least like doing it live. It at, at least takes me ten minutes. So I do sometimes ten minutes session. I find that ten minutes is a bit short. And dealing with the live stream experience for me on my side, it's way too short. So like I'm too much in a in a rush. So I can't even like talk and control what's happening. So I think 20 minutes would be better. I'm doing fine. Enjoying the nice chill drawing session.
Hey Zoe. Zoe Mateo. Alright, that's a cool way to enjoy work, I guess. I hope you're allowed because I don't want you I don't want you to get in trouble. Oh, this is I think this is the typical boring kind. Uh, no, the length is not is not um adjustable in this one like basically what you do is this but these ones are actually kind of um, working pretty well the, the square one I, I talked about it earlier but to just so that you don't have to rewind I also use this but you kind of have to you, you ha kind of have to to squiggle it in but it's kind of it's kind of tight. It's not extendable as well because you just this is the the just as far as you can go. And once it in this ones they are kind of they are made for pencils. If the charcoal doesn't fit, you can always scratch the edges to make it like just thinner. And this one is the official Nitrum one. Pretty good, but not uh, a, a little bit goofy for me. Kind of feels too thick. I don't know. Kind of feel like a vape. Kind of. Oh man, I'm vaping some charcoal, some fat. Charcoal vapes. The square ones are less like a vape and they are, they feel more, you know, light. Kind of goofy in a way, but they at least they work. Now I talked about not getting the baton. I talked about this one. Like don't get this one. It's bad. This one is bad. Don't get this one. Admiratif de votre travail, je suis un ancien élève. Salut J'espère que ça va. still sell it by the way not sure probably and they probably have upgraded the product I don't know because I guess if they sold it like what I got they probably had some for feedback. Command, zooming in for 10 seconds. Lighting. 
allows me to see if it's in focus. Zooming out. Are you at the McDonald's right now, Carrie? Oh. Bon appétit, then. Only that in English there is actually no expression for bon appétit. Like I know the the German they say guten appétit, so kind of the same idea. There's no there's no wording. Like do you say bon appétit? Like in France it's kind of a Kind of a given, like before before eating, you say, like you wish everybody kind of a good meal. I don't know, <laughs> kind of strange stuff we do. Yeah, the best fries in, in Belgium, definitely. Good appetite? Is it, is it a thing you say?
that's a, actually great um a great resource like free mass night sounds great we can make lots of panels sounds amazing like it's type of wooden panel like a wooden mdf panel it's kind of wood but like cheaper and you know slightly lighter medium density medium density fiber wood i think mdf or high density hdf whatever it is yeah you know yeah mason light i think is it's a, a specific brand of mdf Look at this little guy have you seen this guy just rewind a couple of seconds there is a small gnat pretending to be jeff the nerves this gnat can never be jeff if you missed it i'm not gonna blame you i don't know if the camera is hd enough to just catch <laughs> How small it was, it just ran here and it was like there. Hey. You're no Jeff. You can't be Jeff after all we've been through. Jeff Jr. Yeah, no, it's just uh, an imposter trying to no because it's it doesn't doesn't have these big goofy eyes not this i didn't kill jeff jr hold on and relax first of all it's a gnat gnats and flies are not the same it's not Jeff Jr. We, we can't adopt a gnat, okay? Uh, we made friends with a fly, okay? But this, one, this was a one-time thing because Jeff was special. We, we can't start becoming friends with all the insects that are going to be flying around. Like, don't riot against me for not wanting to become friends with a Jeff imposter. What, what do you mean, how could you? It's going to be my fault now. Yeah, I agree. S thank you, Barbara. Thank you for agreeing with me. That this is borderline insane. Like this gnat, it's like so small that I can't even like... Yeah, it's buzzing around the light here. All right. Sure. So, but it's too small. It's just too... I mean, Jeff was such a good friend.
No, I didn't. I didn't kill an innocent, <laughs> unarmed, <laughs> unarmed man. No. It probably had a family. Yeah, sure. Like in the nasty banana peel that I thrown in the trash earlier, probably. Like lots of family. The Yeah, I have no pity for gnats. Seriously. They are my enemies. They are just false Jeffs. They pretend to be just nice and funny and interesting like Jeff. Because Jeff was really special. Like he had like, I mean, he was really a friend. Well, I didn't kill the gnat, right? And he's probably there somewhere, right? It's, it's, it's there. I just shushed him. Yeah, but don't we all, Gary? Don't we all with what we have to suffer, like in in our daily life we have to like it's it's met metaphorically speaking we all have to do the same in a way with what's going on in the world and all so jeff was kind of a just he was here for our sins in a way Try to stick it with a piece of adhesive tape. A good, good trick. Especially when they try to impersonate a dear friend. Euh, Celui-là, c'est du... du... Attends. This is the paper I'm using. It's not necessarily the best for charcoal, though. You better draw. Thanks for hanging around. Ouch. Hmm. 
Alright, so... The eyes are higher. From what I can see. Okay, let's check our... Our... I responded, Aurelia. Yeah, it's better to have a grainy one. Yeah, sure. Otherwise, charcoal is never going to stick. I'm going to just check with our friends from Twitch because I think I've been streaming in dead air for two hours now. So I'm going to turn it off. Turn it off and we'll, we'll be alone and so nobody's watching anyway so goodbye Twitch we can start this and I'm gonna stay with with you don't worry just turning off the switch um, do you need thick paper? You need paper with a bit of grain. Doesn't have like, I'm actually using the low grain side. There's the other side has a bit more grain. You don't have to. I mean, bigger grain is less, it's easier to like the, the charcoal holds on better. But it's also harder to to blend. So for this part, it's better on heavy paper with big grain. But when it comes time to do all the subtle transitions, kind of a nightmare when you have too big of a grain. So you want big grain, but not too much, right? There is a kind of a, a, a balance. Yeah, some tooth, but not too much. I agree. Well, in my case, I like some tooth, not too much. I don't want to have, you know, like uh, pointies and lines. Like whenever you draw a line and when you have like super, you know, super thick and thick grain, it will just be like, like this. It will look like this and it's annoying. I don't like this. So wait whenever you you draw a line but it it appears like that i don't want this thank you elisa ah. all right need to figure out this eye It's not exactly um, Barbara, it's more, and with drawing, it's more like the paper itself is kind of an artistic choice of its own. Like you don't necessarily need to get a very specific type of paper. And by using different types, different types of grain, different types of, of cutter, well, this one is cream, so it's not, it's not pure white by using different types of paper like that. It's kind of an integral part of the artistic, like uh, of the art in general, like the type of paper itself is an artistic decision. And that's pretty cool about, about drawing. What I really like is, but it's been a while since I've, I did this, is, uh, is toning my own paper with some type you know watercolor gouache whatever i like this because it gives this great effect that i've always enjoyed
Hmm. This eye is going to be a nightmare to paint. I have such a strange shape, very precise. Sure, question was about charcoal. Uh-huh, I don't know Stillman and Bern. <laughs> Do you like Tour de France? Not really, no. Except like the mountain... Like... The mountain... I don't know, what are they called? Episodes? <laughs> the, the, the mountain runs. When they just climb the mountains with their bikes. It's weird, she has her eyes weirdly oriented. Let me zoom in. See, there's a very strange, it's like she's almost looking at you. Kind of strange and difficult to make. Temple packs, yeah, it can be a good thing to try out temple packs. Make this one googly again, it's Halloween time anyway. Kind of, yeah. I think for Halloween, is it Halloween today or is it like, if we want to make a Halloween special like in Turn her into a witch could be kind of easy. Roman or Greek almost. Yeah, she looks very Roman. Kind of classical features so tuesday is halloween so maybe we'll take this drawing and turn it into a every day is halloween why wow, that's too spooky too spooky for me then Difficult nose also would be much easier if she had a, a witch nose. <laughs> no such thing as too spooky. Halloween every day. That's too spooky for me. Stillman and Burn are terrible for water medium.
Never tried this paper, so I wouldn't know. You know, Conte is not the same as charcoal. By charcoal, we mean just natural charcoal, so it's just the burnt wood. But the, the Conte has like binder. So yeah, the clay or whatever they're using. And... Um, I think I have one actually around here let me grab it all right you're probably not gonna see much here from this this is a comté square this is charcoal so natural charcoal This is the Comté. The biggest difference is this. Like impossible to erase, whereas the charcoal is very easily, not that much actually, because this is not the right paper for that, but better like for erasing. The good thing about the Comté though, is they do like lots of cool colors which is cool, like they do sanguine, they do sepia, they do like a lot of stuff. And sometimes when you need a, an extra bit of darken, like sometimes when you have messed up paper and the charcoal doesn't stick well to the, the surface, having a nice comté is, uh, is sometimes useful, which is why I have it like this. So kind of useful. Yeah, toning the paper with watercolor is, is great. I mean, it's something I love doing. All right, two hours and 24 minutes. I think this is as far as I'll go. My dear friends, I'll uh, hang around on Discord if anybody wants to be there all the time of cleanup. So if you, if you are there, I'll see you there. Otherwise, um, Thank you for sticking up so far and um, I'll finish this one probably in the next stream or not, I don't know. Uh, but this can be good footage for, you know, a YouTube video at some point. So I don't know, maybe I'll finish this one 
let me know what you if you if you if you would like to see uh, this one again let me know in the comments thank you very much i wish you a wonderful day wonderful weekend i'm probably going to be streaming on sunday because i think it's going to be a nice sunday to stream so take care as always join inspiration to you my friends i'll see you for the next one